Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? Welcome back to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online where we are playing the Warhammer today. The Warhammer is one of my absolute favorite mechs and this year is one of my absolute favorite builds with it because you can play it so aggressive and it is such a such a nice mech in general. I will talk about that in a second. So let's dive into the build and then we're gonna go into the skill build where I'm gonna give you a little bit of a hint here. Anyway, what are we doing? We take two LB10X autocannons, we get six medium lasers, regular mediums, no ER medium lasers, because I wanted to be able to shoot often and I wanted to be actually close to my enemies. The ammunition is only three tons, which I think is very much on the edge when you play it as aggressive as I do it, but because of my aggression I needed that double heatsink. If you play it a little bit slower, take that heatsink out, put another LB10 ammo in it and you have enough ammo for the late game. The mech is really cool because it's also quite fast in the build that we are running. We have a light engine 300 bringing us to 69.4 kph, which is exactly enough for the mech. And yeah, it has decent armor, decent hard points, decent firepower, decent speed. It has not, nothing really that sticks out, but that makes it such a great all-rounder. So I would advise you guys, if you like NSV mechs, take a Warhammer 6R as your first mech because it is a very good one. I really do like that. Anyway, let's go through the skills here. And here's the thing that I quickly want to point out. I forgot magazine capacity in the game. So I have it now, but I had, I think, like two range nodes unlocked or something here. And um, yeah, now I have them and it is really, really needed with only three tons of ammo. Anyway, we got LBX spread, we got laser duration, we got a good chunk of heat gen, cooldown and range on the firepower tree. And as you can see, we are going down the left side of the survivability tree to get some more armor nodes and to have a good time on the battlefield. Because again, aggression, it wins games. We also have maximum cool run, 60% rated deprivation. We got double cool shot and an artillery strike. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Domination on the Hibernal Rift. And I kind of want to go to the right side here. Let's see if we can deal some early damage without taking any in return. And, I mean, we have 69 shots. That's a pretty good number, I think. And we can possibly engage a little early. Okay, I saw somebody. There's another guy I see. So we're gonna shoot him. It's not dealing so much damage here, Acquired. but we can start dealing it. Warning incoming. Warning incoming missile is not a thing that I like to hear. Oh wow, speaking of return fire. Okay. All right, so 400 meters. I could have shot my lasers there, by the way. Yup, 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 yup. Okay, and this is where we are kind of going in. Man, the rate of fire on LBXs are so good. Oh dude, I love it. Okay, dropping artillery. Did I drop it? I think I did drop it, yeah. I did drop it on the king crab. And this is where we are fighting now, I think. Okay, here's some rocks. So, I'm gonna... Oh, here's the guy with the lerms as well. It's an ultra auto cannon. No, ultra auto cannon 20. That king crab... Sorry, buddy. Has to go. I shot here. Open him up. Spoon him out. Open him up. Spoon him out. That's how we do it. Uh, also, there is a dervish, and I want to try to get that guy. He's running light PPCs, medium laser, and some SRMs, I think. So, uh, let's actually respect him. Let's respect him, because these SRMs could really deal some damage. Hmm. I need more... Mm, yeah, I need more ammo for the late game, I guess. So, we are down to 40 shots. Yeah, it's, it's that. It's exactly that. Okay, get that cataphract, or at the very least a little bit, and it's NASCAR. It's 100% NASCAR here. That's a cool shot. It's definitely worth it. Um, we could also defend center, shall we? Come on, guys, let's do that. It would be so good. Oh, that's King Crabble. Get that side torso here. Okay, one more. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm okay with that. I have the feeling that I'm running low on ammo, though. Pretty much. The question is, are we still defending center? Do we have enough people here? I mean, there's there's a crab that is helping us. That side also has to go. It might be XL. No, he's not. Okay. Anyway, he's very damaged now. Okay, the king crab is pushed back. What about the bushwalker? 19 shots. Holy crap. Uh, I push through center now. This is risky. Has the waka. Okay, I missed that shot, sadly. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go for the Waka. Let's go for Brawls. 
Ooh, here's the king crab again. Ultra 20 is either jammed or destroyed. That's a problem. The guys in the back. Yeah, they will miss, mess us up. I'm gonna try to disengage from that. Ooh, I'm prime target. Let's get out of here. They have a very good anti nascar situation now. All right. I'm not gonna face that because I'm core. I want to kind of save my firepower for a little later. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, the Mad Cat is killable. Yeah, let's go for him. I don't need to shoot here, my, my auto cannon. This is fine. Good. I'm down to the lasers now. I got three shots left. This is not enough. <laughs> I mean, the game is basically over because we got most of them dead and all of us are still alive, more or less. So, I think we're just gonna mop him up now and we're just gonna go in with our lasers. I think we did good here. We did very good or well. How do you say that? I don't know. Bam. That's how we do it. Last shots here. There's one more LBX that I can shoot. There was a guy coming over here, right? Oh, did he disengage? Is that the Viper? It is. Okay. Yeah, it's the Viper skirmishing about here. It's coming back. Now clear shot. Okay, that, that's it. That's all I can do. In terms of auto cannon damage. It's another Viper. Mm-hmm. I... <laughs> okay. No LBXs anymore. So, we got another guy destroyed. Where's the Mad Cat? Is the Mad Cat still here? I think it is. It's it's still there, yeah. It's on the right side, you can see that. Come on, shoot that little guy. What? Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, and, and that's his leg. And that's a kill. Man, that Viper took forever to take down. And um, the, the Mad Cat actually got another kill. Uh, what? What is going on here? Somebody's in a circle, by the way. Uh, somebody's in Charlie 3 to Charlie 4. Yeah, there's a flea. Let's go for the flea, then. I mean, we still have the lasers. They are dealing uh, 25 damage. Uh, okay, 20 damage is what we have. 20. <laughs> Crap. Uh, we destroyed a side torso. That's good. Where did the flea go, though? Is he dead? He's probably just regrouping with his body there, so that they can maximize their firepower. To five. <laughs> oh no! He's up in the high ground. There he is. Left side. Uh, Flea is on Charlie 4, Charlie 5 high ground. He's smoking. Watch for the smoke. Charlie 5. Alright, alright. I think I want him, guys. We have 13 seconds on the timer, though, so he has to engage again. In order to make the timer stop. And he has the chance to kill me. What a freaking game. I'm so happy that I can show it to you. But he's probably disengaging. Save his kill death ratio. Yeah, that's what he is. GG. All right. GG. Speaking of ammo conserving, I maybe should have saved some for the later game. But who cares? We won it. And we did a good chunk of damage. That's about a thousand damage on a 70 tonner. So good. That's one, two killing blows. Nine assists. Nine. Assist. Nine assists. We got three kill most damage dealt, uh, 900 and something damage done, 400 and something taken, 10 components destroyed. And that was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing Polar Highlands. Hooray. And we are playing uh, Assault here. So it's going to be a long range fight until we actually make it a short range fight. I hope it happens. Let's see. Uh, domination would have been way better, by the way. But okay, let's see what we can do. Most of the time, we're going to go to India 9 because we got some great cover there. The enemies will be in the, um, what's it called? In the Juliet line, more or less. So let's go to the center of the map, circle around each other until we kind of close distance and then we have a good time. That is the battle plan. And I want to see what we have here in terms of builds. This is a, this King Crab looks familiar. Okay. Um, Timberwolf. Alright, some PPCs on the arms. Probably not good at peeking. There is a broadside as well as a stalker. Okay. Hey. And a Mad Cat A. Yeah, good. So, what we're going to be doing in the first phase of the game? We will do nothing. Exactly nothing. Because we are kind of a brawler type of mech. And uh, we need to be at close range. And if we peek over here, we would just receive a lot of damage without dealing a lot of damage. And that's not a good thing to have. It's 
I would say the math is against us in that case. If somebody peeks here, yeah, they will shoot us. We're gonna we're gonna stay in cover. Or you know what? No. I'm not staying in cover. I'm gonna push them right side. Okay. What now? I'm uh going to golf eight. There are some PPC dudes, maybe we can get them. I don't know. I think we need to yeah, kind of spiral in, like on the flank, and then try to get something done. Okay, I'm gonna eat that. Or maybe not. Okay. I hit him. That might have intimidated him. It's a light PPC, dude. Okay. So Delta is just light PPCs. It's not that scary. Uh, but they know that we are coming. So watch left side. Watch the center as well. Alright. People are actually following me. Holy crap. So our, our dudes which are standing there, they have a bit of a problem if the enemies decide to push on them. Okay, people are here. That's good. These guys will probably know that we are coming. The Vindicator will most likely tell the people what is going on here. Okay, lock it on. Uh, can we get missiles on Foxtrot? I had half. I have hard lock. Keep more missiles shooting. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Okay, hard lock on Bravo. Never mind. It's hard lock on. Never mind. Nothing. <laughs> I, I will push though. I'm gonna go in. Let's try to get the Dervish. It was a Dervish, not a Vindicator. So you guys that are kind of doing things there. Sorry. Okay, Mr. Dervish, let's try to get him. I was trying to lead my shots there. By the way, these guys are very much hittable. And I don't... Yeah, I don't want them to push my bodies in the flank. Because I kind of started something like a flanking maneuver. And I am kind of responsible for it now. Or I feel like it. So, attracting fire here. I have hard lock on Golf, the Night Star. Can we get him down? That would be great, guys. Let's kill him. That's definitely worth the cool shot. Side torso is down. And that's a kill, and that's also kind of hot. We are still missing the Dervish on the right flank, so let's keep a keen eye on them. Or maybe not. Let's go for that. Let's go for the immediate fighting situation that is in front of us. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Looking good. Yeah, sadly, our friends that are not, that were not moving, that didn't get the memo, they are kind of out of this here. Hmm. Okay. Override shutdown. Holy crap. And I am already low on ammo. That is the dervish. Okay, you can take him. We have two people on him already. So that's fine. I'm not gonna go for that. I will keep up the pressure on these dudes here. And I'm hoping that I'm not running into a solid firing line now. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Not gonna happen. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I cannot. I need to save my ammo for a good shot. Get the Fafnir next. The Fafnir. Juliet. Get him. Definitely going LBXing here. Oh, nice back shot. And he is just suiciding. Perfect. Uh, I don't know why, but okay. Uh, Warhammer next. Warhammer. And now Atlas. Lima. Okay, I think this is kind of work. The people are really, really, really good with the following here. I love it. Center torso and we got him. Nice! Hotel. Hotel it is, let's go! Okay, there's a mad dog in our backs now. Uh, actually, turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around and defend. Let's go for Kilo. Orion, please. I can absorb a bit of damage, I'm without ammo. I'm pushing in, left side. Okay, I I'm gonna go for the Orion Kilo. Okay. Wait, is that... No, it's, a, it's an Enforcer. I was like, is that the Dervish from earlier? It's not. Man, the people reacting to the calls is so good. It feels so, so good, guys. Coordination, it wins you games, guys. Coordination is so damn good. Heat level critical. Oh! Mwah. Dealt a bit of team damage there. Hello, Wolvie. Do I have to be afraid of my heat? I don't know. Alright, I have to be afraid of my heat. Oh, he's going for me. Makes sense. Because I'm damaged, I'm killable. But he is also killable, and we are down to four mediums. Ah! Thank you, guys! Oh my god, that is so, so much appreciated. That is so good! That's how you win Polar Highlands, guys, with coordination. Just go for it. If you find an, like, a, like a separated target, kill it, and then spiral down from there. It's so good! That was amazing to see. If you have a decisive push going on, it's better than everything, basically. 
It's, it, you can you can set the enemies under pressure. They were running away. Some of them were kind of trying to defend themselves, and we did it. Sorry for the guys who didn't come. But I was announcing it. So here we go. We got two killing blows. We got nine assists. We got four kill most damage dealt. A thousand one hundred and eighty damage done. Four hundred taken, as well as three components destroyed. Very very good, guys. Thank you for following up. Thank you for watching, guys. I really do appreciate your time on my channel. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Subscribe for the channel if you want more of that. You can also support me on Patreon. Link is down below in the description. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.